everyone welcome to another new video today's video i'll be talking about a new fountain pen from sailor so this fountain pen is called tu zu um, and i believe he has been making its round um, on internet since march 2024 when it is first launched and i have happened to be in japan uh, in june and i in july and i got this one so this is the box that it came with i got this from central so i like the design the, the ribbon that goes through the top the pen is inside this box over here there is a instruction booklet it actually is bilingual so there's japanese and there's also the english all right so let's take a look at the pen itself um if we open this up they come in five colors there are two limited colors red and translucent blue but i got the green so this is kind of a mint green color there's a gray and there's a black so I, I got the mint green because how many mint green pens do you have have you seen so over here it's really elegant it it feels not too heavy um, and it's actually not too slim as well so if you are worried like you know it might be too slim um, this is actually quite a good size and it's not too heavy a smooth shiny surface and it has this kind of a nice clip over top at the, the pen clip which is kind of matte rubberized i think uh, it comes in a, a fountain pen version and there's also a ballpoint version so they gave two just the typical sailor uh, cartridges that you can like immediately start drawing this is the nib. I got mine in fine because they don't have anything else <laughs> when I was there. It comes in fine, medium, and broad. It comes with a converter. Okay, so I already filled this up. Can you see that there are two grooves? They call this the natural fit fit grip. So there's these two cutouts where you can put your hand, like your fingers, on it, and you're supposed to kind of place it there for writing. And it has a snap cap, so it means that it's like this it's not the screw type you know how we always have fountain pens where you have to screw it out so this one is just a snap cap there's some hidden mechanism in here so in the cap it says that it has a slight type sealing feature so it means that uh, the sealing feature will prevent ink from drying up i think this was a kind of a platinum thing um, and probably other makers have, have also started to, to use this uh, for their fountain pens. The most important feature that's special about this is that they you can rotate the nib. So what do I mean by rotate the nib? So this is the nib. This is the natural position, all right, where the nib, like I guess, like it's in the middle with the grip and the nib in the center. But you can actually twist this. So if you want to do that, you just need to kind of loosen this ring. You can gently move this and you can, can you see you can actually just twist this anywhere you want. So it, according to them, there is like a 10 degree adjustment that you can make. So there is these notch, notches. So you can't, you can't turn it here. You got to bring it down and you got to like kind of turn this. So you could even do like upside down if you want to. Like today, I'm going to draw with my left hand. I think I need to adjust it slightly to this way okay so this is wrong <laughs> so i got to turn this one around oh no i got it wrong <laughs> again yeah so there you go when you draw or when you write the nib should be like the flat surface should be facing up like like that so if you are drawing you know, it, it, some people, like, I think different people use different angles when they draw. So this will help you uh, to, to adjust this to your liking. So I think this is okay. And as you can see, it's slightly to the left side. Um, and once you're done with that, once it's kind of locked, you can start to draw. In any case, if you find the rotating nib feature a little bit too overwhelming and you have no idea how to do it, um, you there is a, a little section uh, in the brochure where you can like they will teach you how to do it step by step. So there is another feature that I would like to point out, which is the new pen feed feature. So over here, it says here a hard hole on the pen. This hole allows you to draw ink easily. So you can draw the ink up when the nib is deep too. Uh, deep in the container up to the hard hole. So I don't. Um, for people who uses fountain pen, you know that um, most of the time, if you like to withdraw inks, the ink has to go up here. This is the hard hole. Uh, so it's probably like a centimeter or like shorter than a centimeter. For the Lemmy, you probably need about this much of uh, ink, a centimeter over. But this one, you only need like less than a centimeter of ink. So now for a simple demonstration of um, the feature of how this hard hole does help. So I'm going to use Net Lemmy, which is a normal folding pen. I'm going to put this down, okay, um, in the water. There's about 10 ml water in here. And I'm going to just redraw. 
So as you can see, nothing much comes up. And now I'm going to use Tuzu over here. Now the heart hole is it's, it's uh, under the surface. You see the ink coming up. I actually don't need as much ink uh, compared to the, a normal fountain pen. If you have a bottle with limited ink, the Tuzu is able to withdraw the ink from there. Uh, a caution when you're washing the pen, uh, if you're using a washing bulb, uh, be careful because the ink and water will jet out from the heart hole. So I've done a very simple pencil sketch and I'm going to use my pen. So we remember the angle is uh, adjusted. Right off the bat, I feel like it is really smooth. In fact, you know, I inked this several weeks back and it's still, the ink is still running really well. So the good thing is it does allow me to, like it does allow uh, you, to, you to change the angle. So it makes like drawing in a different angle. Like if you kind of have a different way to draw stuff, uh, it'd be easier for you uh, because you could adjust the pen and you not have to adjust your your the way you write. Kind of nice that they kind of acknowledge that different people write differently and people draw differently. Um, and they, you know you can now adjust the angle to fit your own uh, style. That that grip there does help me to draw better and to hold my pen uh, in a more steady manner. As you can see, no skips, nothing. Everything looks really really um, good even though it's a like fine nib i'm using a watercolor paper slightly cold press um, but as you can see there's no skip at all as i'll finish this then i will i will kind of just kind of do a little summary of what i think of this pen okay so the verdict all right should you get this pen is do you necessarily need it so if you love the aesthetic of this pen yeah by all means get this um, and it has got ballpoint version, but the ballpoint version doesn't come with the with the with the nib like the angle adjuster. This costs four thousand five hundred yen. It's not exactly a cheap pen. Um, I don't consider this like a entry level. This is probably like a mid mid level. Like if you are already having entry level fountain pen, you want something a bit a little bit more elegant, uh, you can get this one. And the good thing is that it comes with these like, uh, you know, kind of a comfortable grip. This is kind of rare fountain pen from Sailor. There is no grip, right? So pens that I know that comes with some sort of grip um, is the Lemmy. This is Lemmy Safari. So it has these two little like kind of a notch for you. But you can't adjust the angle, okay, of your of the nib. So you're kind of stuck with this. Can you see like how if I draw on this hand and I hold this, this would be an awkward angle. So if you like are a normal person or like you draw or write an angle, you know, that, that is kind of like a, a common angle that everybody uses, then I think there's no need to get this one. But if you like to hold a pen in a slightly different way, then get this one because you can adjust this angle and you can, you know, to as like whichever way you want. So, and it's super simple to use. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, right? And if you'd like to see similar content or if you have more questions about this one and pen, uh, do drop it down in the comment section and I will try my best to answer. Um, and uh, that's all for today. Um, thank you and see you in the next video. Bye.